One of the things about being at a university is you want to provide the broadest spectrum of training for dancer possible, and so to introduce them to di the different genres of dance, such as ballet, modern, jazz, tap, um, is part of our responsibility. And I think what is unique about having the vertical dance option for the dancers here is that it could be something that gives them an edge when they go to audition. Vertical dance has become something that a lot of choreographers are wanting to integrate into their choreography. What it does is it adds a third dimension, or actually a fourth dimension, to traditional choreographic structures and expands the way in which we use space and think about space. Always, as an artist, you want to um, sort of embrace the challenges that are presented to you. And our goal was to use the space um, and, and probably only about um, 20 by 20 foot performance space as three-dimensionally as we possibly could. So dancers dropped down from the ceiling, dancers uh, were suspended on ropes that traversed um, one side of the theater to the other, dancers went up to the ceiling. Vertical dance allows a dancer to negotiate gravity in a different way than they would in a dance class. So if they're having a hard time getting their leg um, up to a higher position, it's because gravity is pushing down on their leg. But when you flip upside down, then actually gravity is pushing your leg into a greater range of motion. And so they actually can increase their understanding of where their, what their body's potential is. What's fascinating about the vertical dance is that it is always a duet with the rope. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a short rope or a long rope. You have to, you have to think of the rope as a partner. And the longer the rope, the more time you have to push off and stay away from the wall. Conversely, if you are on a short rope, you actually have to work a little bit harder to push off and land gracefully. So it has probably given the dancers a better understanding of time and their relationship to time and their relationship to music. Um, but it also allows the dancers to explore movements that they can't do on the ground. Um, or if they're on a spinner, they um, would have the opportunity to spin until something got in their way. And so it actually expands their, their movement vocabulary, but also ex expands their experience. We have the amazing opportunity to perform in a natural recreation area. Um, at the Vidavu Recreation Area and perform for audiences from all over southeastern Wyoming, northern Colorado. And we are probably one of the few places in the world who can not only have a performance outside in a, in a venue that's quite suitable for vertical dance, but we can get an audience there as well. And there are a number of companies that do vertical dance outside, but they tend to be more installation work. So, what we provide for the community is this interesting, different um, way of thinking about dance. And we also provide an experience for the dancers that they're not likely to get in, in other programs relative to the classes that they can take and the performance opportunities that they get. We have had a number of climbers who've been interested in doing vertical dance. And some of them have performed with this, but we find it's easier, and no offense to the climbers, but it's easier to teach a dancer how to dance on, or to get onto a rope than it is to teach a climber how to dance on a rope. Um, so we, we realize there are a lot of parallels, but we like to focus on them really developing comfort in the, in the situation that we place them in so they can find their artistic voices.